This video contains three parts in it. First, we will talk about our view of S7 1200 PLC and then hardware of S7 1200 PLC. Following up, there will be a discussion on how to power on S7 1200 PLC. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy. Today, we are going to talk about the S7 1200 PLC that is mostly used in automation industries at the moment today we are going to start up another series where we will be talking about real hardware so this guy right here you can see here is is a s7 1200 plc this is how it looks like we will talk about the hardware architecture of that we will talk about how to program this guy in this amazing series so Starting with the first lecture, we will talk about what are the basic hardware component of S7 1200 PLC. The minimal things that you can notice. And slowly and gradually, we will talk about advanced hardware components of S7 1200 PLC. We will have a complete series where we will be programming different industrial projects by using S7 1200 PLC. This is no more a kind of a simulated classes these will be real-time classes that is a great opportunity for all graduates who are newly graduating from their universities and they don't have a right skills to get into industrial automation field so let's start with our first session today we are going to talk about what are the basic hardware component of s7 1200 plc following up there will be a session where we will talk about how to power on this this guy s7 1200 plc slowly gradually starting with the basics of a plc we will we will slowly cover all the advanced topics so don't worry about that stay connected on it and automation academy's youtube channel we will have an amazing series about s7 1200 plc i hope you will love it so let's start with our first session what are the hardware components of s7 1200 plc starting with a cpu as you can see here s7 1200 cpu we have cpu 1214c and you can see the cpu itself have some digital in and digital outputs so you can see here these are di digital in and do digital out so next io modules these are digital in and out modules you can see sm1223 the next one this one is also sm1223 these two modules have a specific digital ins and outs you can see here digital ins and these are the digital outs now the selection of this digital in and digital output module is totally dependent on how many digital in and outs you have actually in the field so now like that we have analog output modules and input modules we will cover that later on so this is how actually s7 1200 plc looks like and now for sure this is something that you call it power supply so the whole purpose of that power supply is to provide the power to all the modules down there. So now this is all about the basic hardware architecture of S7 1200 PLC. We are going to start our wiring connection with the PLC. Starting with the power supply. The power supply is coming from here. So we are now going to have a wiring connection for a PLC. So the first connection with the power supply is with the neutral and live. Neutral will go to the neutral and live will go to live. Make sure when you are making the connection there should be the power supply should be cut off. Now this is the power supply. So the power supply is from ABB, one end is AC supply coming from power outlet and another end is a DC. So the whole purpose of this power supply is to convert AC signal to 24 volt DC. This 24 DC is used to power on all the input modules and output modules and CPU of PL. So now the next phase is to have a wiring connection 
between 24 volt DC output of that power supply to the input modules and output modules so we are making the connections you can see here so these are the connections okay. in next phase here we are going to first power on our CPU so you can see here there is a 24 volt connections here L positive and M you can see here L positive is a positive end of power supply and M is negative so we will make the connection accordingly here we go positive end is going to L positive and the negative end from the power supply is going to M which is actually negative end Tighten the connections. So now we are going to turn on the power supply. Our CPU is now in running mode. Yes. So our CPU is running now. You can see here the indications. So you can see here all associated modules are also powered on. And that's how we are able to power on our CPU. I hope you liked today's video, if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, then consider subscribing. Thanks for watching this video, till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.